Hi guys, it's Paula from Older Girl Beauty and Reese, who's off camera right now. Don't worry, I think he'll come see you. So, uh, yeah, I'm um, ignoring my final studying. Look, don't you want to study this stuff? No? No? Neither do I. So, I'm avoiding studying for my finals pretty much any way I can right now. Um, which includes making a video because any sane person that should be studying for finals is going to be on camera talking about things that their friend sent them from Bangkok. Perfectly logical leap, right? So yeah, my friend went to Bangkok last week and you guys know I am a sucker for especially Asian beauty products, um, but anything that comes from another country, I just love finding out that kind of stuff. So this week I've been, um, she was like, what do you want? And I was like, okay, I want anything Nivea you can find. So she, she FaceTimed me one night, it was like 4.30 in the morning, my time, and she was in a, a Boots um, drugstore. And uh, she literally went down each aisle and FaceTimed and we picked out some things and I was like, ooh, I want that, ooh, smell that. So anyway, I'm, I'm really into face cleaning right now. And so there's my buddy. There he goes. Um, and so I had her get me a cleansing water from Nivea. And then I also had her get me a cleansing milk. And I haven't played with either of these yet, except to smell them because, you know, scent. And of course, the cleansing water has much of nothing. And the cleansing milk has a little bit, kind of a soft, I, I want to call it kind of a powdery scent, but I don't know. Anyway, she sent me a bunch of other goodies, but those are my main ones. I don't know. She sent me a Boots peel-off face mask. Sorry, I'm right in front of a window, and I have the luscious spring air coming in on me, and so it kind of blanks out but trust me it's a it's a boots peel off face mask what else she had oh a number seven protect and perfect Ooh, lip thing yeah I'm not even gonna show you because it's not even gonna show up um but she sent me this thing sorry I got a TV and I've got a mount and so it's just back there because you know Anyway, she got me this Featherlight Moisture Spray from Sanctuary Spa, which I swear is probably... I found this I found this at Target probably seven, eight years ago, and it was one of the first when I first started buying beauty products. The scent got me in, and it's just... It's, it's luscious. It's so good. But, oh, and she also brought me... Love this. She brings me back magazines from there. So that you can look through and and uh, see what kind of products they're using over there. Because, of course, they get things so much different than we do. You'll get some of the same brands because we have international brands or, or companies that are, that are... But this, is, this happens to be... Um, look, this one just has a guide of all kinds of... So, I mean, seriously, this is, I just, I love knowing what's out there, and what you can get, you know, overseas, and the looks that they do. Like, in this particular, in this particular one, here's their street style, and you can see the kind of looks that they do, you know. I don't know. I, I love, love, that was Allure. Cosmo, this is their Spring Beauty Buys. Oh, it's a double one. Oh, fuck. Oh. Look, it's Cosmin. Well, heck fire. We're going to, oh, <laughs> okay, here's a funny. So when you're looking for what, guys, like this is how much is Cosmin. This is the Cosmopolitan. So, well, it's a trial. It's a trial. But anyway, 
that's that's what I've been playing with this week and just going through all of that stuff. But there's other stuff that I've been obsessed with lately. Um, oh, okay. Look, for real. Look how much is left in this one. So ever since I got my hair cut into this pixie, which I adore, um, even when I went to the beauty school and got that hatchet job, whoo, it's almost grown out, thankfully. But it is hair, and it does grow, and everybody has to start somewhere, right? Right. Anyway, so the best thing about getting this pixie is I have to do practically nothing to my hair in the morning. Now, it does stick up and stuff, but I can spray this on, which I really wish you could see that one. So it's L'Oreal Power Moisture Surge. Power Moisture 10 Second Hydra Detangler. So what it is, is it's a super light spray that I put on. It dampens my hair, and I can make it lay back down, and I love it. This is, I'm, I really do use this pretty much every day. I have dry shampoo that I use, but not near as much as I just do this and refresh my hair, and I go. Because I wash my hair at night, and it drives funky. And so in the morning... You know, I can just spray this on and set it, and I'm done. And I love it, and it's great. Um, okay, so the spring change weather, it's like, I don't know. It's probably 80 right now outside, but tomorrow we're going to have big storms, so then it gets cold, and it goes back and forth. Hi, baby. And so, anyway, I've been using this, which is... Um, boy, I don't know. Remember, I'm from the Midwest, and I read words. Juara? I don't know. Correct me. J-U-A-R-A. But it's the Radiance Vitality Oil, and it's vitamin C, and so it just takes a couple of drops, and this stuff is, like, gone. It just goes away. And there. I mean, I love it. The scent is... It's not floral. It's not bad, but it also... I don't... I want to say kind of with, hi, there's a tail. And uh, so, loving that. What else? Oh, face cleansing again. So, I went and I got this, which I love the gel face washes and, and things like that. So, this was the Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrating Melting Cleanser. And it was an Ulta exclusive. So, I went and got it. And, of course, smell. Smells really good. It does. It turns into an oil uh, cleanser. Comes off pretty easy. Doesn't leave a real um, film on me. I'm, you know, I have some redness, some rosacea, but my skin overall is normal. It's pretty normal. Some dryness. Don't look at me now. It looks like I'm just oily as heck, and I'm not. It's just natural light. <sighs> what else? What else? What else? Oh, oh, so... Every time I go to Dallas, we've been going down to Tony Molly. It is Tony Molly, right? T-O-N-Y-M-O-L-Y. -Y. Okay. Anyway, so what I got, of course, Panda. Boop. So this is a sleep mask. And it's Panda's Dream White Sleeping Pack. So what it is, it's really a sleep mask. It's not really a night moisturizer. And, God, you guys cannot see that. Woo! <laughs> It's a gel, and it comes out really bouncy. It's not liquidy, as you can see. It's not solid, but it's also not just like a moisturizer. So anyway, I put this on at night, and then I get up, and I do the whole face wash, face wash thing in the mornings, and my face feels really soft. It does. It not like a film, not like anything like that, but it just feels really soft. And now I don't know if the white is supposed to mean whitening as in like my skin's supposed to get lighter because I don't really see any uh, formulary in that for that. But it, uh, my skin just feels really good in the mornings when I use this. And, uh, and I, I'm really happy with that. Hi, Bubby. Hi. Okay. So I read about this and I posted about this on Instagram the other day. So apparently... If you inhale this Johnson's Baby Soothing Vapor Bath, which basically it has menthol in it, is really what it is, which smells really good. 
in this one. And um, Comforts Fussy Babies is what it says. And I use it... Somebody said that if you inhale it, it will help migraines. Okay, well, I don't have migraines, but I do have this down at the bottom of my neck. It's this cluster that's just knotted up, and, and it's a, a tension-type tension type headache that is just knotted. And so I've tried using some of that. I think instead of looking like a, a big dork carrying this around all the time, I'm going to put some in a small bottle and then just, you know, be like... I don't know, be like the goth teens in high school and being, you know, sniffing the whippets, but it's not. I'm just trying to make my head not hurt. So, um, the other day, the other day to get out of the house, if you were following me on Twitter, it was like, ping, ping, ping. I kept finding all these products, these new products and things I had questions on, but this was the one thing I had read about. It's, it's Moda, and these are brushes new brushes and this Moda is a consumer line from Royal and Langnickel that makes really amazing brushes they started out as a art supply and moved over into the makeup side and this one of course they're teal so how was I not going to get them and um, so this one's a double ended where you see so you got the you got the eyeliner and the and the blender and the powder brush so this one actually comes with directions on how to do a smoky eye. Now, I'm not going to lie, I haven't tried those instructions, but the point is, you get this, you get this set of two, you can get it at Walmart, and it's only $6.95. So you get two brushes, three brushes technically, for seven bucks from Royal and Langnickel. They feel really good. They're good in colors. Let me tell you, that day I was at Walmart, I went back to the the crafting section and there were these tweens that were looking at um, these artistry brushes. There was like a, a pack that had like 10 brushes in it and it was like seven bucks. And I was, and they were considering getting that and they were talking about the different ways they could use it in eyeshadow and I was like, no, no, no. And so I showed them this and I was like, this is a great starter set for people that are trying to get into brushes and get away from, of course, using the little foam applicators and things like that. But anyway, they were going to use that, and I I talked them, I want to say I talked them into getting these, but I really talked to them and explained how this would be really good for about the same price, and they would last longer, and they would be softer on their eyes and not as scratchy. So it was pretty neat uh, to talk to them and, and explain them to them the errors of their ways. <laughs> It works for some, don't get me wrong. I don't know, that's mostly what I've been playing with lately and avoiding doing what I need to do, but I guess I have to get back to studying because I really need this semester to be over. So, anyway, you guys have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!